Hi, I'm Joni Hilton, your YouTube mom. Today I'm going to tell you how to be a wonderful host if you have guests. As you can see from this setting in my living room, uh, I'm ready for Christmas and that's when everyone tends to travel the most and stay in our homes the most. I have another one of these uh, tapes online for you, one of these YouTube videos that tells you how to be a wonderful guest. But today I'm going to tell you how to be the perfect host and make your guests feel welcome and comfortable. Now the first thing we're going to start with is what we all love to find in a hotel and that's a nice soft robe. If you can put a robe on a hook in their bathroom or bedroom so that they feel like they can get all cozy and comfy. Put an extra blanket in there. You may think the room is warm enough, but your guests, as any married couple can tell you, will not have your same thermostat. <laughs> and so leave an extra blanket in case they want one. Of course you want to have fresh sheets, and you want to have a table like this or a luggage rack where they can spread their things out and put their luggage and open it. Sometimes we're tempted to make their room so beautiful and fill every space, but they need lots of nothingness <laughs> where they can put their own things. So be sure to leave them room for that. Also, put a lot of hangers in the closet. They may have more clothes than you think, and they may want to hang up every single one of them. So make sure you have lots of, of empty hangers. And I like to tuck a little teddy bear into their bed. I just think it's fun, even for grown-ups. And another thing that's fun to leave on their bed is if you know their favorite candy bar, or even if you don't, just put a candy bar there, a nice little treat or a pillow mint. Put some magazines for them that, that you think they might enjoy. And this is pretty important. Have a night light for them, not just in their bedroom, but especially in the bathroom. If they get up in the middle of the night, you don't want them fumbling around, and a night light will help. You may know your way, but this is unfamiliar to them, so they need a little night light. Also in the bathroom, I like to put a cup by the sink. A lot of people take pills and vitamins at night, and just having a little drinking cup there would be very thoughtful. You can also have a little basket of toiletries. Maybe they forgot room spray, shampoo, lotion, toothpaste, toothbrush, and you can get travel sizes and new packages of these items and just leave them in a small basket. Um, room spray is nice. Uh, fresh towels, of course. And then in their bedroom, I always like to put a photo of them with us or with me to let them know how much I treasure their relationship and that I have photos that I keep in frames of them. And then let them know practical things such as where an iron is if they should need it and other essentials that people end up having to ask you. And then the last thing, and this is something few people think of, check all your light bulbs and make sure one of them isn't about to go out and put fresh bulbs so that they don't get caught in the dark all of a sudden if one of your lights goes out in a lamp in their bedroom, say. And that's how to make your guests feel very welcome and comfortable. I'm Joni Hilton, your YouTube mom. Scroll through all these videos and you'll see tons of life skills and great tips. Be sure to post them on Pinterest and tell your friends to subscribe and we'll see you next time.